Cusque tan mabutere, Catalina, patientia nostra. Quam diu etiam furor iste tuos nos eludit. Quam ad finem sese enfrenata, jactabit iaudacia. Nihil ne te nocturnum praesidium palati, nihil urbis vigilae, nihil timor populi, nihil concursus bonorum omnium, Nihil hic munitissimus habendi senatus locus. Nihil orum ora voltusque moverent. Note that habendi is a gerundive, modifying senatus. Habendi senatus, genitive case with locus. How far will you continue to abuse our patience, Catiline? How much longer will that rage of yours make a mockery of us? To what point will your unbridled audacity show itself? Did the nightly garrison on the Palatine, the watch patrols of the city, the fear of the people, the assemblies of all the good men, this most fortified place of holding the Senate, the faces and expressions of all of these people, not move you at all? Patere tu concilia non sentis? Constrictam iam horam omnium scientia teneri, conjurationem tuam non vides? Quid proxima? Quid superiore nocti egris? Ubi fueris? Quos convocaveris? Quid concilii ceparis? Quem nostrum ignorare arbitraris? Nesta on line 6 through 8, we have five indirect questions. Quid proxima? Quid concilii, followed by the direct question, quam nostrum ignorare arbitraris. Now this is Cicero at his best. He's known for his tricolons. Uh, this is just one-upping himself by creating a really rapid series of questions. Think of the courtroom drama this would have created. It almost sounds like a Tommy gun so going notice. off. That we have a series of partitive genitives with quid concilii quem nostrum. Concilii and nostrum are partitive genitives. The tatere is an infinitive in indirect statement after sentis. Do you not sense that your plans lie open? Do you not see that your plot is already held in check by the knowledge of all these people? Do you not think that any of us do not know what you did last night? What you did the night before, where you were, who you summoned, and what plans you made. O oh, tempera, o oh, mores, senatus hic intelligit, consul readit, hic tamen wiwit, wiwit, imo vero etiam in senatum venit, fit publici concilii particeps, notat et designat oculis ad caedem unum quemque nostrum. Nos autum fortes viri satis facere republicae vidimur. Si istius furorum actella vidimus. Ad mortem te, Catalina, duci iusu consiliis iam pridam aportebat. In te conferi pestum, quam tu in nos machineris. O oh, the times, O oh, the customs, sometimes translated as O oh, the morals. Um, this is Cicero at his finest. These also represent accusatives of exclamation. In English, one might say, oh, what is the world coming to? Uh, what is this new generation doing? So this is, of course, Cicero uh, appealing to the traditionalists in the Senate um, to back his argument. Oh, the times. Oh, the morals. The Senate understands these things. The Consul sees them. And yet this man lives. He lives. No, indeed, he even comes to the Senate, takes part in the public affairs. He points out and designates with his eyes individuals amongst us for slaughter. But we, brave men, seem to do enough for the state if we avoid the rage and the weapons of that man. You, Catiline, 
ought to have been led to death already, long ago, by order of the consul. That ruin which you are devising against us should have been conferred upon you. 